Hi, this is Dina with Digital Hotcakes. I'm in Pro Show Producer and I'm going to show you how to create an intro for a new baby slideshow. And I'm using some animations off of Home Movie Essentials Volume Number 4, specifically the baby album open. And you can either use the blue or pink, whichever one's appropriate, and the stork animation. Now let's start by setting up our slideshow for widescreen, and we do that under Show Options. This is to make sure our aspect ratio is set for 16 by 9. And then under Edit, Preferences, let's just make sure our default image settings are set to fill frame. Now we're going to start by dro dropping the Stork AVI into slide number 1. And we're going to set this slide time to 15 seconds. And we're going to double click on the slide to open the slide options. And under Layers, Layer Settings, we need to check right here under Layer Settings where the aspect says Auto. We need to set this to 16 by 9. Um, though we've set our show settings for widescreen, ProShow doesn't always recognize all imported video files as being 16 by 9. So we need to go ahead and set that. Okay, after we've done that, let's, let's go ahead and add our baby album open. Okay, and when it comes in as well, we need to go over here under Aspect and set it to 16 by 9. And you can see how that changes the appearance of the book. If you, if you don't do that, that um, the video is actually going to look a little off. And since this is an overlay, we need to add its corresponding mask. So let's add a masking layer and let's bring in this mask. And once again, the same is true for the mask. We need to go over and set this to 16 by 9 from auto. OK. Now let's go ahead and click on the stork layer. And let's, let's create our caption. The caption is going to be the date of birth. So let's go under captions, caption settings. And let's type our date of birth. June. Let's change this. And of course, you can make your title look however you want it to look. And I'm going to drag this down just a little bit. Right about there. OK, and we're also going to set the, the text effects fly in. We need to set that to a fade in. OK, and we also need to set the timing for this because we don't want it to appear at the beginning of the slide. So let's go under Caption Motion and let's right click on keyframe number one, set time for this keyframe, and we're going to set that for 11 seconds. All right, so let's click OK to exit this slide and let's start slide number two by dragging our baby photo. Drop it in slide two. And we want to set this slide time to 5 seconds. And we'll double click to open slide options. And let's play around with the size and the motion of this photo. We're going to go under effects, motion effects. And we over here, we're going to start with the keyframe number 1. Let's let's make this a little smaller. Actually, we're going to take it down to 30%. And we're going to move it over. right about there. Okay, and because we want the only motion of this photo to be a, a zooming in, let's go ahead and type these pan numbers under keyframe 2. And that'll make that'll make sure that that they're in the same position and at the um, the only motion you're going to get is the actual zooming in. Okay, and we're going to we're going to set this zoom to 50. Okay. OK, and let's set the timing for the zoom. Let's right click on keyframe 2, set time for this keyframe, and we'll set this at 2.5. OK, and because it's only going to leave our, our photo on, on the slide for about 3 seconds, let's go ahead and add another keyframe. And you can do that by clicking on the Add Keyframe over here, or you can double click on the timeline. And we want to drag 
keyframe number three all the way to the end. Okay, now let's add our, our caption for this slide. Let's go into captions, caption settings, and let's type our caption. Okay, I have this title set up for left alignment. Let's just move it a little bit over and down. Right about there. Okay, and let's up, up here under text effects, let's set this fly into a fade in. Okay, and I didn't tell you earlier, but you need to set your transition here to a cut. So let's go ahead and do that and let's see what we have. That's it.